So here I am in Costa Rica in a place called La Fortuna and it's, um, Costa Rica has a number of many, many volcanoes and currently uh, behind me as you can see the reflection is uh, the Arena Volcano which is over 1,600 um, meters high. The last time it was active was 10 years ago. This is uh, 2019 now, so about 2009 it was active and before then was in uh, the 1960s. Um, it's a sleeping volcano it's um, like dormant, it's uh, resting at the moment, which is good for us <laughs> right now. And then next to that volcano is something called the, the Chateau uh, uh, Volcano, I believe. And on top of there is, it's a, it's a dead volcano basically. And on top of that is um, a lake, which you, can, which you can climb to the top and visit and swim. But all around the area is, um, is hot springs because of the lava flow underneath the land. So there's quite a few hotels around this area which have lots of resorts with hot springs and um, they utilize the, the natural heating of the, of the area which is really nice. At the moment we're in a B&B and surrounded by nature. It's uh, very beautiful and green and in the morning you hear all sorts of like wildlife, birds and it's a you know, really nice place to visit. Uh, the past week it's been a, a lot of rain and uh, been quite wet, but still quite warm and um, enough to be warm that you're just outside in a t-shirt or a vest basically. And it's always, I think it's always similar this temperature. And uh, people here are nice in Costa Rica, really friendly and helpful. And um, I'm learning a bit of Spanish myself, so it's uh, picking up a few things here and there. But so far, um, all the locals and residents that are in the area are really, really helpful and lovely. It's a very touristy area. I've traveled about the parts of uh, Costa Rica already, and everywhere seems to be filled up with um, uh, hostels and hotels and Airbnb places. Um, but the place that we're in currently uh, in La Fortuna, which is uh, the volcano that attracted us, and uh, this is the first day we can see it fully green. Uh, because it's been quite uh, cloudy and rainy for the past sort of week and you can st see a little bit of smoke coming from the top <clears throat> so on the internet I read that um, there's still some active uh, lava flows and if you do see pictures of, if, if you google pictures of uh, the arena uh, uh, volcano you can still see the trails of volcano coming down the volcano itself like you know from 10 years ago when it last was active so yeah, so far Costa Rica is a lovely, you know, place, um, lovely tropical place, and uh, abundance in in animals, different animals, and birds and reptiles, and I haven't seen any huge spiders, which is a good thing because <laughs> I'm not sure how I'd react if I see massive huge spiders. But yeah, so far a great uh, place to visit, and seen lots of local, um, sorry, lots of tourists as well from parts of Europe. Um, the beaches seem to be most popular as always um, but I like the nature as well because it's a lot more quieter and uh, yeah so far it's, it's been great great time uh, surrounded by nature and the nighttime wildlife is beautiful here in the frogs and the crickets and I always love the natural resonance of the wildlife which is very beautiful very relaxing and especially frogs I've got a big connection with frogs so I hear them most nights and here in this other animal which I can't quite describe and it's like a, almost like a monster sound, but it's kind of like a very deep uh, call. It has this na natural, deep nature call. I don't know what it's on about, but um, yeah, it's great to see the lots of farm farmland nearby, which grow lots of papaya and other fruit. And yeah, it's just abundant in nature as tropical places are, and and life, which is great, as uh, the term they call here pura, pura vida, which is like pure life, basically. So. Yeah, that's uh, me talking about uh, La Fortuna in Costa Rica. Uh, go visit, it's a great place, lots of things to do. Uh, prices are like just very similar to like uh, Europe. So it's not like other tropical places such as like Bali and in India which are much cheaper. Here is um, prices you'll find across Europe. But other than that, it's great, you know, really lots of things to do. Um, and yeah, I really recommend it.